what a fight we expect this one to be. Both of these athletes primed and ready. And carries that left jab away. Solid punch. As the great Phil Collins once sang, I can feel it in the air tonight. What a buzz. God, listen to them. Listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting you here. I'm sorry. Changes from both men in this round. And this with edge down. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think light. Concentrate. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. He will be buzzed first. He misses with that jab. He blocks the hook. He misses with that jab. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. His jab just got blocked. Competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight is closer than two. Which fighter is going to get quit first? And he caught him there with a the left hook. Just misses with that jab. How 
nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Perfect punch. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. From this moment forward, he cannot afford... Got it in round four. He didn't take that jab well at all. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How'd you deal with this? You've got a hope, you've got a hope they went out of steam. Nice punch. He threw the hook, didn't land. Changes for both men in this round. Oh, that left hook hurt him. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you stay calm, play cool. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. He's going to be the first one to get caught. That one lands. an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. You have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed. It's so hard, it's an uphill batter. He misses with that jab. He 
Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just missed with that left jab. And he fails to score with that left hook. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you don't think him. You just gotta be smart on him. You gotta be like a little fader and pick bucket him. You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. I don't know which fighter is winning. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Another scoring shot there. You can't connect with that right hook. Seen in the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of these. Adelaide blocks! And apparently, no rest for the weary. Thought about taking a breath, but instead, they're in there throwing bombs again. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. They missed with the jab. Punch. Nope, that jab not going to score. Rocky Marciano covering up, trying to buy some time to get out of trouble. No, we don't see a knockdown. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. These two fighters promised. Here comes round seven. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What could they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per round. David Adelaide just took a big shot. Is this big opportunity to finish the fight slipping him by? I thought we were going to see the finish there. And forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. That's a scoring left hand. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Taj, you know what? Sometimes when they're going to win with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Johnny, but I'm getting 
And we enter the eighth round. That jab misses. Let the spider's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. If you put a fast fire, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. The right hook misses. the combination to this shape. Oh, and he caught him with a left hook. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Shot with the left. And he caught him with a left hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. David Adelaide going to go down. He's trying to fight his way back into this... True champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and that's what he's doing here. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain power. Two are the perfect dance partners. Nice exchange here from both men. He parries the right jab away. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. This one could go either way. Here comes the 10th round. Good right hook. Got him with a left jab. Nice slip to avoid the jab.
stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the flat. You've got to relax. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Got out of the way that right hook. He carries away that left hook. Missing with that right hook. Seconds left. I don't know which fighter. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that. You've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That's another scoring shot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get him close. Neither man really defending themselves. Can't find a home for that jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This fight is closer than... This fight is going to get quick first. Caught him with a left hook. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Caught him with a stiff jab. The jab doesn't quite connect. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he parries that right jab away. heard the phrase finding a second win I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it 
midway through the fight. If you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheat... And that was a heavyweight shot that... Slow the round winding down now, and it's been another good one for him. The three judges agree, and we've got a unanimous decision. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart, that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.